Okay, if you're an archer and you've only shot an index finger release and you feel like you're anticipating the shot or punching a trigger or doing drive-by shootings and you don't aim real well, you hit your trigger too hard, you flinch, sometimes you'll flinch before you shoot. I've been through it. I've, I've used the index finger release when I was younger and I couldn't even sight my bow in to deer hunt. I, I thought I wasn't going to be able to hunt because every time I pulled the trigger I felt like I got struck by lightning. It was the worst thing ever. So I went to a professional trainer and he taught me how to shoot uh, back tension release and how to be, and I became an advanced certified archery instructor on a back tension release. And ever since then, I've been shooting these. Uh, I got a th thumb release that I can teach you how to shoot back tension, <coughs> a hinge release that shoots back tension, and a pure index or a pure pressure release that shoots back tension. It'll definitely teach you how to aim and how to shoot a bow properly versus the index finger. The index finger is really not a good thing for archery. So if you want to sign up for a lesson or something or come in and talk to me about these releases, we can do it and I can cure you of punching that trigger and flinching or doing the drive-by. Some people, I watch so many people here drive, pick up their bow, pick up their bow, they get to the target, they shoot and their bow never stops moving. I see it every day. So if you want to talk about it with me, stop in. I can show you what they look like and teach you how to shoot one. Okay, the first couple steps I would show you on these releases, we'll start out real close and make sure you get uh, comfortable with it before we go and shoot downrange and bust up your arrows or anything. But the new stand releases, they come with a practice sear. I can take this pin out and put it in the release and I can have you draw back and activate the release and it never fires an arrow so you can get familiar with the release before you actually shoot it. And like I say, we start out with a big target real close up. I'll teach you how to shoot that. I got kids from four years old to 60 year old men, 70 year old men shooting back tension releases and everybody loves it once they get started and trusted. This is Gary at Bucks and Bulls Archery. Our uh, honor flight shoot this year at Bucks and Bulls Archery, it's an indoor archery tournament. It'll be J April 13th, 14th, and 15th. And if you could call ahead for a time slot, it'd be great because we're going to schedule shooters every hour and a half so we don't bunch up here. Um, the number is 715-341-2825. Thank you. Hi, I'm Gary, and this is Bucks and Bulls Archery. Come in and shoot and try any of the top of the line archery equipment in the industry. We are your number one archery range in Stevens Point. Try before you buy so you can hit where you're aiming. Here at Bucks and Bulls Archery, 3296 Church Street, Stevens Point. Stay warm this winter with a heated jacket from Frank's Hardware. Get your rechargeable Milwaukee Tool heated jacket in a variety of colors and styles. It's the perfect gift or something for anyone who enjoys the outdoors this fall or winter. So stop into Frank's Hardware today and get yours so you can stay comfortable before it's too cold. Optimizer by HHA Sports. The Optimizer Light Ultra voted number one single pin adjustable sight for 10 years running. The Optimizer Speed Dial for crossbows, to the yard accuracy with a single reticle. And the Optimizer Horizon, offering unmatched accuracy from both short and long range firearms. All Optimizer sight systems utilize range dial shoot technology. Ask for Optimizer at a dealer near you. This mineral is a game changer. I've put the odds in my favor.
it's time to close the deal. I wouldn't change a thing. Finally, the buck of a lifetime. Real Deal Mineral, the results speak for themselves. Today's closed captioning provided by Bucks and Bulls Archery, located at 3296 Church Street in Stevens Point. All right, we're back at Bucks and Bulls Archery this morning with James from Fitternal. He's, what do you, you want to tell us a little bit about yourself, what you do? Yeah, so uh, thank you, first of all, Gary. But um, at Fitternal, what we do is we work on movement and we work on specializing in movement rather than um, going into a facility and picking up weights and throwing them around. We want to be specific on how you control those weights, um, what efficiencies you produce, and what incapabilities that you have. If you have incapabilities, the best thing for you is to understand what your capabilities are and we can work on them from there. Cool. That's good. Well, last week you were here and uh, we talked about your shoulder placement, like what was this called? Protraction, right, and retraction. Pro and retraction. Yep. And what the retraction thing we were talking about, would you'd be able to hold your bow steadier and less injuries, <clears throat> probably shoot longer without getting tired instead of being stretched out and using all these muscles. Is exactly, Gary. And that's See, I already paid attention to Yeah, hey, I like it, I like <laughs> it. So the biggest point with the protraction and the retraction of the shoulder is, as you were talking about earlier, is to uh, have a deer come down a lane or a hunting um, experience where you're holding that bow out for a long time and we start affecting the central nervous system, right? So if we have that shoulder in a retraction uh, position, we're going to be more stable through that shoulder joint, we're going to be able to hold it longer, and we're going to be able to capture the shot that we want. Right, it makes a lot of sense. I was working on it since you were here last time, and it, it helps just to relax your shoulder down in the joint, in the socket. Kind Absolutely. Of it's all about stabilization. You hold really steadier, is. you don't get as tired, and you won't get injured as much. You won't pull muscles like old guys pull muscles, you guys don't. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> So today we could go over maybe uh, the core part of your body? Yeah, we'll talk about some stance and some core activities and how we like to deal with recognizing uh, the pelvis versus the midline. So I'll show you what I see a lot of here is when, when people are shooting their bow, they kick their hip out like this all the time. I don't know if their bow's too heavy or if they're just weak or out of line. So, so a lot of sometimes back, not too much forward, but mostly back in this way. So these are a lot of neurological properties. Uh, what we're trying to do is connect the brain to the body and a lot of the time, shooters, athletes get so wound up in the action, they don't recognize how their body is postured. So what we like to talk about, Gary, is this. If you can imagine your belt line is a bucket of water, and if we get into a extension position with our midline underneath us and we hyperextend through our back, we're spilling the water out the back side of us. Mm -hmm. And if we get into this bow position, shooting position with a bow, and we kick our butt out, we're spilling water to the front of us. It can go the same way with the lateral so positions. Understand. Yep, so what we wanna do is recognize that our pelvis is underneath us. You could actually tap your tummy to make sure your abs are engaged. And then let's take this position with a retract shoulder and right. drawing the bow. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Is even like the shoulder stretched out or your hip kicked out, you're gonna be off balance, get tired faster. Absolutely, those are all incapabilities. What we work on at Fraternal, um, we wanna make sure people are posturally working the right way through habit, okay? And then when habit comes into factor, they'll do it out in everyday life and then when they come in here to shoot a bow, it's second nature to them. Good deal. Yeah. I know a lot of people shoot here half hour, hour, and they say their back is sore, and it's all because they're not in line. With That's the exactly it. They're doing something. Right, or there's an incapability within that stabilization of the midline, so. So yeah. what do we gotta do to strengthen that up? Oh, okay, here's, here's, a, couple, <laughs> here's a couple ways that we can strengthen it, okay? So uh, a, big, a big deal would be um, getting on the ground and getting into a plank position. 
Uh, some of the plank positions that you see are a push-up plank where your feet are directly towards you and they are pulled to back together and your hands are underneath your shoulders. We do not want to see, just like you said, Gary, when people are shooting, we want, we want to see a hyperextension through a back or over flexion. What we want is a direct midline where our shoulders, hips, knees, and ankles all stay in a line. And if I were to come up to you, you would be able to hold that position if I put a little leverage on you. Without spilling the water. Without spilling the water, right. Yeah. And another one is, so instead of doing the push-up plank, which could be hard on some people's wrists, maybe carpet tunnel, et cetera, what we would do is we would go down to a forearm plank. Again, elbows would be underneath shoulders and we would be leveraging through our midline, keeping it nice and tight. Good deal. Yeah. Now I got, now I got to start working out. Yeah, I can help you with that. We can do that together. I'd get down there, I won't get back up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I realize this is an archery show, but if there is any golfers out there, outdoorsmen, uh, sports specific athletes that have any questions or concerns with how their body is moving or incapable, please come down and see us at Fraternal, uh, fraternalcrossfit at gmail.com or 715-540-0484. Well, James, thanks for coming, and we'll keep in touch. We'll do it again next week. Thank you very much. This thanks. Is great. Yep. Welcome to Frank's Hardware. Family owned and operated since the 1940s. Frank's Hardware on Highway 10 East in Stevens Point not only has all of your general hardware supplies, but specializes in a wide variety of products, meeting all of your paint, lawn and garden, plumbing, electrical, and all HVAC needs. Not only do we have a new one, but we also can show you how to fix what you already have. Did you know Frank's Hardware also offers a large variety of services? So stop on down to Frank's Hardware in Stevens Point today. Not only do we have great products, but we got great service. Thank you, TJ. No problem, Harold. Come on, Turbo. Hi, I'm Gary, and this is Bucks and Bulls Archery. Come in and shoot and try any of the top of the line archery equipment in the industry. We are your number one archery range in Stevens Point. Try before you buy so you can hit where you're aiming. Here at Bucks and Bulls Archery, 3296 Church Street, Stevens Point. Optimizer by HHA Sports. The Optimizer Light Ultra, voted number one single pin adjustable sight for 10 years running. The Optimizer Speed Dial for crossbows, to the yard accuracy with a single reticle and the Optimizer Horizon, offering unmatched accuracy from both short and long range firearms. All Optimizer sight systems utilize range dial shoot technology. Ask for Optimizer at a dealer near you. Seeds. The results speak for themselves. Today's closed captioning provided by Bucks and Bulls Archery, located at 3296 Church Street in Stevens Point. This is James from Fraternal. Today we are going to be working on some core activation and some pelvis stability. Remember, when we're working with our pelvis, you got to remember it's a bucket of water. If we were cut off from the waist, what we want to do is not spill the bucket or the front side of us, spill the bucket or the back side of us, or laterally. What we want to do is be nice and extended through our hips. Our core is activated in a stature position. This is the push-up plank position. Hands will be directly underneath your shoulders with your legs extending back in a vertical position extended through your hips, holding your chest, pushing your back in a hollow position, core activation. Regression would be to your knees, to your elbows, and back to your hands, to your feet. 
extended. Fraternal's prescription for you would be 45 seconds within the plank position or regress down to your knees, making sure your shoulders, hips, knees are all in line. In capabilities would be hyperextension through your back or flexion through your pelvis. Make sure we are nice and stable, shoulders, hips, knees. 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off, four times or four minutes. If you have any other questions or you are interested within the program here at Fraternal, please contact us at 715-540-0484 or fraternalcrossfit at gmail.com. Um, first off, I'm gonna show you guys when you pull back out of a tree stand especially, and sometimes when you're shooting in your yard on hills, any hill shot's gonna be a lot different for you because you're gonna to wanna, to, right away when you pull back, you're gonna be aiming down with your arm. You don't wanna drop your arm down because if you do, you're gonna be, like I said earlier, your muscles are all gonna be holding yourself down. You're gonna be fighting it up and down. 90% of the time you're gonna hit high if you're going down. If you're going up, you're gonna hit low because you're gonna drop out. So when you pull back, you need to bend at your waist. And if you bend at your waist, your whole arm, as you can see, my back and my front will move together in one fluid motion and you'll be able to shoot the same shot you made on a flat surface as you will on a hill, out of a tree stand, up a hill, depending where your game is that you're going for. The next thing that will also be very key is when you're standing in your tree stand and say you pull back and you let come down on the animal, if you tilt your bowl left or right, depending if your tree stand's tilting or if you're tilting naturally, or if you're trying to reach around a tree so you get that good shot, if you're not using your level, you're gonna be shooting left or right. Um, another good example of when this comes into huge play is if it's windy out. Um, I shot college and we were out in Texas A&M and they had about, I'd say somewhere between eight to 15 mile an hour winds and it was a solid breeze. And I ended up losing to the guy that won it and I asked him how he got better. And these are little tips that I picked up along the way and he simply told me, when you're looking at your level, if you move your bubble one line over in this big breeze, it'll make you shoot exactly where you're aiming and you can still aim right on and not worry about that wind. So this is something that you need to practice like in your backyard or by yourself. And when you do this, you know, even if there's no wind, you can aim right on, cant your bow a little bit. If the wind's blowing from right to left, you would cant your top cam into the wind. No matter which way it's blowing, your top cam goes into the wind. You don't need to go too far, just to the first line on your level. And if you do that right away, you can shoot when it's not windy out and you'll be able to tell if you're at 20 yards, you'll even hit, I mean, an inch off one way or the other. Your up and downs will be very similar, but that little lean in your cam will make a huge difference. So what I'm trying to tell you guys is when you're practicing, first of all, if it comes down to you're shooting out of a tree stand, it's good to practice out of one. Bend at your waist, straight down or up, depending where your shot comes from. Second thing, check your level. Don't stare at it, just give it a quick glance. If you're way off, bury it into the side. Make sure you quick switch it back so you're nice and level and you'll be able to make that perfect shot. Play in the wind a little bit if you have wind wherever you are because 90% of the time when you're hunting, there's gonna be wind. First thing you think about when you go hunting is which way is the wind blowing? If it's not blowing straight at you or straight away from you, you're gonna have a side wind and you need to calculate it a little bit. You don't have to go crazy and you know, can't all the way into it because you're gonna have a bad shot either way. So, little thing, think about those two and your base together from last week. You're gonna have your lower body already all put together almost, you'll be ready to go. Seth, why you gotta jump this river here? Well, I went uh, for the real life techno hunt challenge and just shot right over a squirrel. And I didn't realize that this gigantic creek was between me and the squirrel. <laughs> it's not very gigantic, but it's very slippery. And now I have to attempt to cross it. Good luck. Yeah, thank <laughs> you. Probably gonna get wet, possibly slip, fall. It's not gonna go well. Right now. Not as bad as I thought it would be. <laughs> That's why you look for trees on a steady base. <laughs> Just like last week's lesson. Welcome to Frank's Harbor. Family owned and operated since the 1940s.
Frank's Hardware on Highway 10 East in Stevens Point not only has all of your general hardware supplies, but specializes in a wide variety of products, meeting all of your paint, lawn and garden, plumbing, electrical, and all HVAC needs. Not only do we have a new one, but we also can show you how to fix what you already have. Did you know Frank's Hardware also offers a large variety of services? So stop on down to Frank's Hardware in Stevens Point today. Not only do we have great products, but we got great service. Thank you, TJ. No problem, Harold. Come on, trouble. Optimizer by HHA Sports. The Optimizer Light Ultra, voted number one single pin adjustable sight for 10 years running. The Optimizer Speed Dial for crossbows, to the yard accuracy with a single reticle. And the Optimizer Horizon, offering unmatched accuracy from both short and long range firearms. All Optimizer sight systems utilize range dial shoot technology. Ask for Optimizer at a dealer near you. Two seeds. The results speak for themselves. Today's closed captioning provided by Bucks and Bulls Archery, located at 3296 Church Street in Stevens Point. Okay, we're at Bucks and Bulls Archery this morning. I got Chris from HHA Sports here, and we're going to run our second annual Never Forgotten Honor Flight Archery Tournament. Uh, there's three of them. Last year we had like a 113 -ish shooters here alone in the indoor tournament and then there's two other tournaments local clubs that get together and do outdoor tournaments yep our uh, honor flight shoot this year at Bucks and Bulls Archery it's an indoor archery tournament it'll be J April 13th 14th and 15th and if you could call ahead for a time slot it'd be great because we're gonna schedule shooters every hour and a half so we don't bunch up here um, the number 715-341-2825 thank you and then we're doing uh uh, June 30th and July 1st back in Rapids at Antler Archers. That'll be an outdoor 3D. And then the final leg of it will be uh, August 18th up at the Rib Mountain Bowman, which is in Wausau. That's yes, wherever the flight takes off. So good deal. It's a fundraiser to take people on the flight. Yeah, for people that aren't familiar with the Honor Flight, it's a it's a nonprofit that sends uh, Vietnam, Korean, World, World War II veterans to the uh, monuments in Washington D.C. for the day. So yeah, I know I talked to some people that've been on that flight. And, it's like unreal. It's a pretty, uh, pretty emotional thing. I didn't serve myself, but I've been a volunteer for them for about a year and a half, and just being a being a boots on the ground volunteer and seeing the the smiles and the tears on those guys and, and gals get off the plane, it's a pretty, pretty remarkable experience. So I'm, we appreciate your partnership and uh, and willing to open your doors up and raise some money for them. It is uh, it's 500 bucks a, a head to to go on that flight. So, um, so it's not a it's not a cheap. Uh, undertaking, they do four flights a year, and all the money that they raise comes off of fundraisers like this. So good deal, yeah. And we partner up with Antler Archers in Kellner and Red Mountain Bowman up by Wausau. And they do their tournaments, and it's kind of a community raising thing, kind of really, you know. Yeah, it was something with all, that with I, all of us getting together. I was inspired by the first, one of the first flights I did. I was uh, I was waiting for the flight to get back in one night, and I ran into a civilian that happened to be a bar owner, and he told me that he uh, had had a rock concert at his place. The previous year and they had 500 people come through the door at 10 bucks a piece and he raised five grand for the flight so i got thinking well man that might be an opportunity for us to use our business and yours because i know you do your uh, your cancer benefit color run here in the summer that i had came and done mm -hmm. and so that was why i decided to call you uh, just knowing that you've got a heart for helping people so it's kind of a natural natural fit for us so we were able to raise between the three shoots last year we raised almost fifteen thousand dollars so i'll well, we'll uh, see if we can double that this year that's the that's the plan yeah. so and even if you're not into archery, you can still come and support the cause by raffle tickets and buy some food or something that day. You bet. <clears throat> Watch the tournament, you know. Yeah, we'll have a bunch of, uh, of hunting and archery related door prizes and things that people can uh, can bid on through silent auction. We'll also have some local uh, gift certificates, gift baskets as well from local businesses here in Point and then Rapids and Wausau when we have those shoots. So yeah. uh, you don't have to, like you said, you don't have to be an archer to participate. Right. Um, and speaking of archery, we do have uh, a bow raffle, which is new this year. We, uh, we've got a bow coming from Matthews. 
uh, one from Gearhead. We're working on a couple others, but I'm hopeful to have six or eight bows that we can put on a raffle ticket that you'll be selling here at your shop. Mm -hmm. uh, those bows will be hanging up here. So uh, when that drawing is done at the end of the, the last tournament up in Wausau, then those winners will have to come here to Bucks and Bowls and pick those up and, and hopefully get them set up and, uh, and put a few few accessories on them as well. So Sounds like a lot of nice prizes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the support in the industry has just been huge. It's, uh, it's something that... Uh, that has been a major blessing to us. I mean, just everybody that we talked to at ATA, obviously we went down there as HHA to sell mm -hmm. sell our wares, but uh, in talking to people about this tournament, uh, it was it was a pretty much a slam dunk. Everybody wanted to participate and, and right. donate some of their products to, to this great cause, so. Good deal. Here at your place, that's gonna be an indoor spot tournament, correct? Yep, yep, mm -hmm. and uh, we, can, we don't have to shoot 20 yards. We have a lot of people that are like younger kids and stuff that shoot less distance, so we kind of just shoot where you're comfortable so you don't have to worry about uh, missing a target or anything. Keep it, I guess, more friendly and less competitive. Family just friendly, yeah, I mean, there's no, there's no payout for any uh, first, second, third. Right. I, don't, I don't believe we did some door prizes last year, which we'll, uh, yeah. we'll do that again this year for where people play us, but yeah, it was a very family friendly. Yeah, we make yeah, it sure. so everybody's comfortable. Not yeah. embarrassed at all, you know. And, yeah. And then the other two tournaments will be outdoors, 3D, yeah. Right. So, yeah, June uh, June thirtieth and July first down in Rapids at Antler Archers, which is right in our backyard, mm -hmm. and then uh, the final one is up at Rib Mountain Bowman in Wausau, and that'll be August eighteenth, which is also a Saturday. So, a good deal. And if you've never seen archery tournament, you can come and watch too. It's, a, you know, you can sit back here and watch this one or walk through the course of, on a three D tournament. It's kind of neat. There's a lot of people who've never seen that. Right. Well, and there's a lot of people that don't don't hunt, but that still shoot bows and arrows. So I mean, a lot of people right. unfortunately think that if you if you shoot a bow you've got to you got to go out in the woods which a lot of us yeah. do but there's a lot of uh, recreational archery that takes place as we well. have a lot of those here yeah so, yeah for more information on uh, all of these shoots you can go to our website hhasports.com and there'll also be events created on our facebook page uh, and i believe gary's going to have something as well uh, on his his website and, and his page and the mm -hmm. registration can be done down here so yeah and if you call in advance you can we schedule a time slot for you to shoot so we do like 10 people every hour and a half or so for three days so it just makes it easier than sitting and waiting until somebody else is done shooting you can pre-register and come in and shoot yeah, almost like a tea time for golf yep well thanks for coming chris and we'll start advertising it and get her going sounds good yeah we'll see you in march all right this is gary at bucks and bulls archery our uh, honor flight shoot this year at bucks and bulls archery it's an indoor archery tournament it'll be J april 13th 14th and 15th and if you could call ahead for a time slot, it'd be great because we're going to schedule shooters every hour and a half so we don't bunch up here. Um, the number is 715-341-2825. Thank you.